depersonalization is when we're like removed from self. Remember, dissociation is like when our brain pulls the ripcord on reality because what's happening is just too intense. It's more than we can process. Yeah, dissociation comes from a Latin root word that means to sever or separate. And it's actually a broad umbrella term that describes the various ways that our brain separates us from painful experiences. On a very mild end of the spectrum, you've got daydreaming. So let's say that you're talking to somebody and, you know, they're talking about something that you're just not really interested in, or maybe it's creating emotional distress. Well, you could also see dissociation as an escape when there is no escape. And let's say that you're not able to leave the situation. Well, your brain has to find some way to detach you from your situation or even yourself in more extreme circumstances. But that's where your mind kind of starts to daydream. It kind of starts to wander. So that way you're present, but you're not really present, okay? But then swing the pendulum to the opposite uh, end of the spectrum, the more extreme end of the spectrum, there's a lot of extreme forms of dissociation, but one of the ones that I experienced and I've been helping people with for the last eight years is something called depersonalization. It's where your brain dissociates you or separates you from your body or from yourself. Um, also derealization, this is where your brain dissociates you from the material world. Everything feels fake and dreamlike. These are uh, technically trauma uh, dissociation, meaning your nervous system has gotten overwhelmed to the point that your brain thinks that you're about to be eaten by a lion. And so there's actually a shutdown of the brain regions that are responsible for you feeling connected to your body, yourself, and the material world. Dr. Bessel Vinter, Kolker with The Body Keeps the Score, calls it the mohawk of self-awareness because it kind of forms like a mohawk haircut. We don't really know what to do with it um, and with how we feel. And so whoop, it pulls us out a little bit. Mm -hmm. Now, depersonalization, again, is removal from self. Derealization is when we're kind of removed from our environment. Yep. can feel like things are just a little hazy or like we're in a movie. Yep, like a movie. That was the best uh, analogy that I could come up with whenever I was going through the symptoms as well as my clients. They use that all the time. Um, another very common one is it feels like there's a wall of glass between uh, them and reality.